Bismillah. Okay, guys, today's lesson is going to be about digestive system. Let's see what is digestive system, why digestive system is important for our body, uh, why do we need digestive system, what are the parts of the digestive system, what's the function of the digestive system, okay? So, what are the functions of each part of the digestive system? So, let's go for them. Bismillah. The parts and the functions of the digestive system. Digestive system changes food. Sorry, digestive system changes food by breaking it down into tiny particles. Okay, so it means uh, how digestive system work in our body. Digestive system will change the food that we are eating, like piece of pizza, like rice, like beans, like any like any other things. Changing them into what? By breaking down them, change into tiny particles. Because our body needs tiny particles. It doesn't need piece of pizza. It doesn't need rice. It doesn't need beans. It doesn't need potato, tomato, any other things. They it it just needs tiny particles. It must be tiny particle. Otherwise, body cannot get benefit from this. Okay? It means we need digestive system to change the foods into something that our body can get benefit from it. Uh, you know, like what? It means the digestive system is important for this. To change the foods, something that we are eating, to something else that our body can get benefit from it. Our body can not get benefit from everything. Cannot get benefit from a piece of pizza. You cannot give a piece of pizza to your arms, your legs, your bones, your uh, rib, you know, rib cage, your stomach, your heart, your any other place. You cannot give a piece of pizza and say, okay, take it and uh, get benefit and grow. So you cannot give it there. This piece of pizza, this rice, this bean, this uh, tomato, potato, any other things must be changed to tiny particles. Then the tiny particles will go through your body and your body will get it and get benefit from it and it can grow. Uh, grow sorry. So, uh, the digestive system. Guys, let me give you an example to understand. Uh, digestive system is work like money exchange between the countries for example you will go to uh, usa england any, or, or any other places okay you have to change your money because you, you cannot buy anything so uh, your money is dinar okay it's it's valuable i don't say it's not valuable but in your country is valuable in another country must be changed to their money then you can get benefit the piece of pizza is like your money, it's dinar. You must, when you go to, for example, when you go to uh, USA or England or any other place, you must change this money to their money. Then you can get benefit from this money, right? Before changing, you cannot get benefit because you cannot buy anything by dinars in USA. You have to change it to dollar, then you can get benefit from this, right? So, uh, the digestive system is just work like money exchange. It will change the money to their money to get benefit. Here is same. It will the digestive system will change the food to another food that your body can get benefit. Okay. So this digestive system will break down uh, break down the foods into tiny particles. Then your body will get tiny particles. Your uh, body will not accept a piece of pizza. It is accepting only tiny particles. Okay, you must give uh, you must give tiny particles to the body. Then body can grow and get benefit. If you give a piece of pizza without making to tiny particles, it will, your body will not grow. It will not get any energy and it will die after some, let's say, days or a month. Okay, so be careful. Uh, we need digestive system to change the food into tiny particles, then our body can get benefit from it. So, these are the parts of the digestive system. Like what? Like mouth, the first one. Then esophagus, second. The third one is stomach. The fourth one is small intestine. The fifth one is large intestine. And the last one is anus, okay? So, these are the parts of them. Let's see what are the functions of them. By the way, first of all, you have to know that the two main organs in our in the digestive system are what? Stomach and small intestine. They are all important, by the way. Don't say only these two are important. 
they are all using mouth to esophagus to small intestine to uh, start, small intestine sorry to large intestine then to anus so they are all important but these two are the main i mean stomach and the small intestine are the main organs in the digestive system most of the function will be done by them so let's start digestion starts in the mouth okay your the mouth yeah, as you ha everybody has it so uh, is the starting point for digestive system mouth is the starting point by what by chewing them and chopping up them as well as mixing them with saliva for easier uh, for easier swallowing guys you will chew the food a piece of pizza or right a prairie set any other things you will chew and chopping uh, up them uh, chop up them then what gonna happen to them they will be smaller pieces right by this chewing and chopping up them uh, so what gonna happen to these smaller pieces you, uh, the mouth will mix them with uh, with saliva and the saliva will make it moist and what why should the why uh, they should be moist to for i mean for easier swallowing if they will be dry it's not easy to swallow right but if it's moist of course it's easier so it means the digestion will start from the mouth and by uh, making them smaller pieces by chewing and chopping up so then after being smaller they will be mixed with saliva this saliva will ma make them moist okay uh, then these moist small uh, smaller pieces will go down through the something else let's go for them but uh, i mean this saliva for making moist and for swallowing easier and the food is swallowed and moves from mouth to stomach through what esophagus it means the next step is esophagus you see the food is going down it's going it's going until stomach it means from mouth look at there from mouth to stomach through where through this tube what do we call this tube esophagus esophagus is a tube between mouth and stomach by uh, squeezing by contracting it will push the food into the uh stomach okay it means the first step is the first place is uh, mouth the second is esophagus let's go for the third one the third one is stomach we said esophagus will uh join mouth to stomach it means the food after is uh, mouth to esophagus after it's esophagus to uh, stomach what stomach is doing uh, so the stomach mixes the food with digestive juices we have digestive juices in our body when you uh, eat a piece of cake or any other thing it will be mixed with the digestive juice okay be careful the main digestion is not going to start in the stomach many people say uh, my stomach is going to digest food no be careful don't confuse this the stomach only mixes the food with the digestive juice okay it, it will be ready for digestion then the next step small intestine breaks down the food into tiny particles it means the main we said stomach and the small intestine are the main organs but the main one between them is small intestine for breaking down if if i say which one is breaking down the food it, it must be small intestine so small intestine breaks down the food into tiny particles so uh, this then after small intestine what do we have after making smaller so we have something else why do we need if if small intestine breaks down the food into tiny particles why do we need large intestine why so the large intestine absorbs water and some substances and send them into the body okay so guys uh, some substances on water will uh, be absorbed by the large intestine okay the small intestine will uh, break down breaking the foods down into small particles tiny particles and give these tiny particles to the blood they have to be uh, small enough to move into the blood guys it means uh, the small intestine is not just breaking down one time and send it no it's going to break down the food okay 
break down the food continuously breaking down breaking down and breaking until it's going to be small enough to pass into the blood if it's not small enough to pass into the blood it means we have done nothing it must be small enough to pass into the blood because the blood will give the food for all the parts of the body so the small intestine breaks down the food into tiny particles tiny particles. it means they, it must be very very small small enough to go into the blood okay then but something of course some will escape from the small intestine it cannot break everything down okay so some things will escape it cannot absorb everything so what can happen to them do they escape from the body no we have something else uh, if they escape from small intestine large intestine will take them okay so the large intestine will absorb uh, absorb the water and the, well, some other substances that escape from the uh, small intestine why they will take it and send them into the bo bo uh, body so what's gonna happen to the rest i mean the undigested parts what's gonna happen to the undigested parts of the body the anus is the last organ of the digestive system that pushes out uh, the waste and solid undigestible food from the body. It means after uh, mouth chewing them and sending through the esophagus to the uh, stomach, the stomach mixes with the digestive juice, make it ready for to uh, digest to break down then the small intestine will break them down then they will some will go for the large intestine the large intestine will absorb uh, water and some other substances then send them to the body then the last one it means there is no more digestion the other is not uh, i mean the body cannot get benefit from the others what can happen to them i mean from the wastes what can happen to the waste in the large intestine after absorbing some water and substances? Of course, some will left, right? The waste will left. What can happen to this waste? Of course, the, we have anus, the last part of the digestive system, that they, it will push out the waste, the solid undigestible food from the body. Okay, this part cannot be digested for the, uh, uh, I mean, by body. So, the anus will take it out. Anus is just for taking out, sending out, pushing out the wastes and solid and digestible foods from the body, okay? So it means one more time, let's summarize. First, we have mouth that by chewing, I mean the digestion will start from mouth, be careful, and end with anus. Mouth is the starting point, anus is the ending point, okay? So digestion starts with the mouth by chewing and chopping uh, up as well as mixing with the saliva for easier swallowing, we said make moist. Then what's gonna happen after mouth? We have something else. Mouth will swallow and it will goes to esophagus. Esophagus will squeeze and contract to push the food down into stomach. The stomach will mix with the mix the food with digestive juice. Which part will mix the food with digestive juice? Stomach. Be careful. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we have small intestine that break they of, of course after mixing with the digestive juice well they will be ready for breaking down they will be ready for digesting so the small intestine breaks down the food into tiny particles enough small to sorry uh, sorry uh, they will be small enough to pass into the body i mean the, into the blood then after small intestine, we have large intestine that it absorbs some water and other substances that we said escaped from the small intestine. And they will send it to the body, to the blood, we can say. Then the last part, the last undigestible food, solid part, the waste part, will be pushed out by anus. Done. Then we will get new food to get more digestion and more tiny particles. And our body will grow better. <coughs> so this is the uh, name of the parts in order mouth esophagus small uh, stomach small intestine large intestine anus this is in order be careful follow the uh, arrows okay mouth to esophagus esophagus to small intestine small inte uh, sorry to st uh, stomach stomach to small intestine small intestine to large intestine large intestine to anus if you look at here you see 
you see the food goes then for mouth then esophagus small uh, I mean stomach as it's come back wait food for mouth esophagus small stomach then small intestine you see then large intestine then anus if you see look at here you will see all of the steps in one in like two or three seconds okay so guys uh, these are the parts and the functions of the digestive system and digestive system parts okay so uh, and these are everything about them I think I think I haven't left something else guys the we have differentiation between the animals digestive system guys we have different animals but uh, some like many vertebrates are digestive system are similar like ours okay for example we had mouth then esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, anus. Like you see, the rabbit and the cat uh, have the same mouth, then esophagus, then small intestine, then stomach, then small intestine, then large intestine, then anus. But guys, you have to know it's not exactly the same. For example, if you see that the esophagus of the cat is longer than the esophagus of the uh, rabbit. And the stomach is bigger than the stomach of rabbit, but the small intestine of the cat is smaller than the small intestine of rabbit, and the large intestine of the cat is smaller than the large intestine of the rabbit. You see, some of them will be bigger in one animal, some will be bigger in another animal. You see, the sizes are different, but the style of the digestive system, like mouth, then esophagus, then stomach, then small intestine, the large intestine, then uh, anus they are all same you see right so the steps uh, so these are uh, I think everything about the digestive system I hope you get benefit from them and uh, if you have any questions you can write in the comment and I will be pleasure to answer you have a nice time best best wish